despite what it sounds like. Oh, they're so big. Hisses, ferocious little hisses. Oh my gosh. Okay. See if I can get his this time. Oh. I don't think that was. Look at the walking. Gosh, look at these gigantic, healthy kittens. Can you see how much they weigh? There's a little, oh, look at the walking. You're so advanced. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. Oh, she's so feisty. She's very feisty. You don't want to mess with this one. You don't want to mess with McFuzz. <laughs> McFuzz is very ferocious. He will get you. 
Yesterday was a busy day, so I did not weigh them because they had some excitement being interviewed with Linda Tyler. There was a lot of activity. So we just called that their socialization time and left it at that. So let's see. Oh, it's so punchy. Did you get even more punchy? <laughs> that. That's what Mummy Sable does to me when I come in the room, that little growl whine. It's very foolish. 4.34. For Trudy. For McPudge. 4.34. Up from 4.06 two days ago. A very respectable weight gain. She's almost a pound. This, this is almost a pound of kitten. And she's also making her escape. Here she goes. Let's see. Bar Barty's got some eyes starting. He finally decided to make eyeballs. 425. Big boy. Up from 392. Very respectable. And Maisie McGrew. Oh. <laughs> oh, screech, Maisie. She's very. Here, let's just put all of our paws in. 382. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very, a lot of drama. There's a lot of drama. They're very dramatic. It's a you very dramatic. Did you hear that from your mommy too? So, Trudy remains the biggest, 15.3 ounces. Maisie remains the smallest, 13.5 ounces. She makes up for her slightly smaller size with extra drama. <laughs> extra drama, let me see your face, make sure that we're clean and... checked all the nope no pus there no you don't have pus either let's see nope no pus there has your oh that looks good <laughs> no pus and you 
Oh my goodness, he looks so healthy. Healthy. Good job, team. And we have a little eyeball starting. It's about time. This will be our first. Well, we'll see what we'll see what happens when we get bigger, but so far no pus. That's good. That's good. We don't want the pus. Oh my gosh. There's some serious drama. But no pus. That was okay. Wait, face this way. And you know what? <laughs> this is why we do socialization. Oh. Uh, can, can, do you think that you could look at me? Do you think you could look over here? <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh. Oh my goodness, you look like a big girl. Do that again. Do it again. He looks like a, a big girl. She can sit up like a cat. Oh my gosh. So big. So big. Can we get your sister? Oh! Drama. <sighs> oh, and Barty back there with his like 15% eyeball. This is the longest a kitten has ever gone, a tiny kitten has ever gone without opening his eyes. A new record. Oh, look at you. What are you doing, Barney? What are you doing? He's trying to look out of your eyeball. It's too small. Adorable. So they are 18 days old. If you can believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe that. Can you? Oh, that little Trudy face is so cute. You're the best at posing. You're the worst at posing. You're going to be good at posing. Look how big you are. You just need eyeballs. All you need are eyeballs. Could be being in the most adorable photo of all time, but instead all we have is a butt. You have super hearing, don't you? Super hearing. Oh, the girls are so posy. Oh, so cute. So cute. Oh, I know. Oh. He's so tough. Oh, hi. <laughs> Little grunts. Who is jealous of me right now? So soon we'll have even more kittens. I think Savina's gonna go first. Hey, Maisie. Oh, Maisie. That's right, find your light. Find your light. Work your angle. Come on. Find your light. Work your angle. Where are you going? But that why do you go that way? <laughs> Trudy McFuzz. <laughs> Hi. Oh. You are too cute. You're my baby. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, that is a really adorable 3D McFuzz. She's very, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She's very photogenic. Well, where are you going? I just brought you a friend. You got, you had a little eye discharge there. But it was clear, which is good. Well, it's not good per se, but it's, oh, that's nice. Do you think that you can actually face the light, though? Do you, do you better learn how to do this now? You're gonna need, you need these skills later in life. Oh, Trudy has got it down pat. She does. Hi. Now I just need a little bit of a... This one. <laughs> Where are you going? There we go. That was, that was pretty cute. That was pretty adorable. got you. You just got attacked by your sister. <coughs> Look at that Trudy zooming around. It's hard to walk on all fours and lift your belly up when your belly weighs like three times the size. Oh, can you that? Oh, good job. That's impressive. Where did your tail go? Oh, you like being petted. You just are ferocious. Look at her go. Look at them go. Even Barty is on the move. Even though he can't see anything. Look at him go. Tail is up. He's a big boy. There's his sister. These are some adorable kittens. They're so cute. Tuso. Tuso. Get her, Trudy. Maybe just wants to nurse. <laughs> Trudy was actually sort of playing with her. Oh, where are you going? Oh, come get her. Oh. <laughs> oh, when is it? Like, what is it? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, this one. <laughs> he says, he, I refuse to do your bidding. I refuse. Trudy says, I'm going to pose over here. You can take my picture again. And Bartholomew, once you have eyes, you're going to be so cute. <laughs> you. You are so good. <laughs> Maisie McGrew. She's 
<laughs> Let's see if we can get a close up. There you go. That's pretty cute, huh? Pretty cute. Should we do some stuff? Mm. You guys definitely need some work. You need some work, especially you. Oh, look at that little face. That is a very cute face. She definitely looks like Mr. T from some angles. With that long nose. Her eyes are a little bit runny, but it's, um, clear. Which means there's nothing... that I need to do about it. Nothing, it's nothing major either. A little upside down time. Were you not a fan of upside down time? I know that's, but that's why we do it. See, you survived. You survived. Good job. See, you'll be braver. Braver in no time. And you're, you get that foot massage. So we look in your ears. Oh, very nice. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> How about this one? Oh. Oh, you're pretty, you're not so bad at upside down, huh? You're pretty brave. You're pretty brave. Oh. Good job. Where are you going? You still have to check your, your paws. Good job. The ears. Good job, you snout. She's looking at your mouth. She's looking at your mouth. Oh, she tried to, oh, good job. She tried to bite me a little bit. That's okay. She's very ferocious. <laughs> Alright. Renny, are you gonna open the rest of your eyes soon? Tomorrow? Oh, oh panic. Panic. He's arrived. Between week two and three is just a tiny bit of handling. Just a tiny bit. Those are some nice ears you've got. Some nice ears. How about your mouth? Can we see any mouth? Oh. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Oh, you have your face. Oh, you Upside down time. It's like, it's like, a uh, tummy time for, for kids in some ways, for infants in some ways, but it helps them uh, it stimulates them in new ways and it also helps uh, increase their confidence because it, it puts them in a vulnerable position and a lot of time potential adopters will pick up uh, kittens like a, and hold them like a baby like this and so you don't want your kittens to panic and do that when, when a potential adopter picks them up so getting them used to being upside down early helps with that and just also helps to stimulate them in new ways. Studies have shown that um, the, the, the brain size of kittens that have been socialized between four and seven weeks of age, uh, that they have larger brains. So there is something to it. My primary goal though is just to give them more confidence and make them uh, better equipped to handle things like vet visits, and um, being picked up in different ways and just new experiences in general so that they can adapt and, and be less stressed. Oh, did someone a little bit gassy? Did someone have to poop? Do 
we bring you back and your mommy can help you poop? <laughs> yes. See, like Maisie, if Maisie wasn't picked up and given upside down time and stuff like that, she would continue to do that as she got older. And then if she was going to a normal shelter to be adopted, um, it would, it would take a, it would take someone who's not looking for a super, you know, confident cat because she wouldn't show her true personality in that situation. And she would be nervous. We can at least help with some of that. So you don't have to start at two weeks. You can start at three or even four weeks. But I like to start just a tiny bit after two weeks. Just a tiny bit. Look at your stripey tail. It's so cute. I'm also contemplating... attempting to put revolution on Neelix and try to get her nest um, I would like to get her nest a bit rearranged so that she's ready we're so we're ready for babies not that it's in terrible shape but she's I would like to put a few more blankets in there maybe and, you know a clean blanket perhaps would be nice um, and make sure the the second camera I put in there uh, wasn't working, but I think it's working now. I think I've got the I had to swap out a cable, two cables actually, but I think it might be working. But um, she's not in the nest now. The problem is she runs into the nest. But if I'm gonna try to catch her, she actually hissed at me today, which she normally does not do. So that could be an indication that we're getting closer to baby time. But, um, Are you so cute? Look at you zipping around with your floor time. So we'll see if I can, if, if it seems like when I go in there or as I'm watching on the cameras, if I can, if, if it, I can uh, get her. I tried to block off the she has an escape door in the back on, on her nest, and if you recall, at the beginning when I brought Sable in, intending that to be Sable's nest, I had to make the exit door bigger to accommodate her gigantic belly. And so I had some Velcro on there that I could just sort of attach a cover on so that I could get her more easily, but um, I had to do a speed, a speed expansion of the escape hole so she didn't get wedged in there and then um, cut off the Velcro. So now I'm kind of, I have to, I'm paying the price for my speed, my speed hole expansion. Because I can't just Velcro the back door shut. You guys are so cute. What do you think about floor time? You will have more and more floor time as you get older. I'm thinking, I'm hoping, we'll see how things go, but Sable's doing really well. She's obviously taking wonderful care of them. Um, she's not frantic, she's not stressed. I think she's, I think she's, I, I, I think she's okay to keep around for longer than Sloaney and um, Cisco were here. 
Um, the only the only reason that I would change my mind about that is if the kittens are learning too many negative cues from her about humans, um, which I think I think they'll be I think they'll be okay. We'll see. Um, or if if they became sick and I needed to do treatment multiple times a day and it was it was not working for her. But um, I, I'm surprised she hasn't even moved them, um, which to me is an indication that she feels pretty comfortable. Um, It'd be funny if she moves them like into Neelix's nest or something today, but um, so I am thinking that I can keep her with them longer uh, than before, which I think would be nice for her and nice for them, because she is such a good mummy. And then we'll see how we'll see how the others do. But these guys are 18 days old. Usually we can start weaning them, you know, between four and five weeks. So two more weeks. And we could start weaning them. Um, but no way to predict what's going to happen. So just have to be flexible and see how things go. There's no way to predict how protective the moms will be. Every mom is different and their personality before they have babies has no correlation to their personality once they've had babies. Ooh, you are too cute. Oh, I know what other photo I needed to take of you guys. I wonder if I can do that. But as long as they're healthy and as long as they're not um, negatively affected by staying with their mom, then there's really not a huge reason for me to separate them early. We like we would like them ideally to be with mom for at least eight weeks, but with ferals sometimes that's challenging. Do you have a little like you do? Okay, little sneezes. There, I helped you. And especially since I don't have a friendly mom to sort of ease the transition for them, um, I think it would be nice if I can keep her around until they're definitely ready to make the transition. So I'm hoping that she continues to allow me to access them. She's had a few times where she's been like, you know, on the verge of charging me. But so far she's been, she's so far she's allowed, allowed this to happen. Now they're get, being noisier and more mobile. So she may, she may move them at some point. She may, she may decide that enough is enough. But just cross that bridge when we come to it. There's no way to predict with these ferals. We have them next. It's very, very exciting. Oh, you are, why are you too cute? Why are you so cute? Can someone look at the camera? Mm. We need you to get eyeballs because you're going to be a good, you're going to be a good, you're going to work in your angles. You just, your eyeballs are not quite ready. Not quite ready yet. Oh, and you are so cute. Trudy's eyes are... She has good pupil control. She's good. She, and she walks and she's very advanced. You're the most advanced of everybody so far. Out of all the kittens here. And the most ferocious too. Yes. And the least speedy. <laughs> Little squawk.
Oh, little yams. What kind of blanket do you guys want in there now? It's time. It's clean blanket day. So let's go pick. Let's go pick. And you won't look so yellow, maybe, on this one. You can look so yellow. Uh, oh, how did we do that one? So let's see it. Let's see, I guess we'll just do that out. Wow. Oh, look how cute he's being right now. When I can't take a picture. Or can I? Am I just that fast? <laughs> Adorable. Okay. Or should we try polka dots? This one will be good if I can get it folded properly. I'll go do, um, prepare the nest and then come back for the yams. trying to find a look that blanket was a little too because it's been washed a few times it's been a little too it's a little too fluffy in the middle 
So, Oh, yeah, my friend. Here. Oh, are you doing cute? Wait, no, you can try stuff. Hi. Oh. 